not only can I be heard, you all should be able to be heard as well. Great. So. Hey, I'll say. Officially live. Um, Hello. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, my name's Caleb. I think there's one person here right now. It might be myself. I'm still trying to figure out exactly the information Twitch gives me. But we are recording, so we may as well go ahead and introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Caleb. I'm your DM. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing a little thing that I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, somebody else go. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, I am Caleb's good friend. I'm going to be playing one of the characters in this thing that's going on tonight. Uh, I'm not sure what I can or should say. So give us your name, give us your character name, uh, uh, who you are, who you play, uh, what your yeah. race class, okay. all that, that quick good stuff that people want cool. to know in here. Um, cool, yeah. Uh, uh, ben, uh, I, I play a crazy person in real life, and in fake life, uh, I'm playing a character named Otep. He's uh, an orc elf, half and half. Not a half orc, not a half, half elf. He, his, his mom and dad were an orc elf, and it's, you know, kind of, he's kind of weird because he's a paladin, but he also just kind of like likes to hang out in the woods, and he has an oath of the ancients, so he doesn't really fuck around with most people, but he also really wants to help people, so he's, you know, traveling around doing the thing. Yeah. I'm Kit. I play Fenris, a half-elf rogue warlock, um, one level of rogue, so no subclass there, and great old one warlock. My name is Fiona. I didn't know if I was supposed to talk. Um, my name is Fiona. I'm going to be playing uh, Dasha, also a half-elf, um, and uh, we're going to do some some ranger sorcery for you tonight on my end. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, as I said before, I am Caleb, uh, and I am your dungeon master for this evening, and I have so many wonderful puppets for you all to play with. Um, so this is a module that uh, I purchased off of Roll20 for about five or six dollars um really fun it's designed to be a uh approximate one shot or encounter that you can fit into your campaign i picked it up when i was first sort of playing with dming stuff and trying to figure out how narrative goes um so for those of you watching at home this is actually serving as sort of a trial run break-in session uh for these guys characters and for me and for all of us um so that when we start playing uh the story that i wrote called when the stars fell uh we have a sense of what we're getting into with each other um and just sort of getting a feel for for the characters that we've got see if everything is balanced um although to be clear i did not write you know anything other than the things that i make up as we go um because who knows what these guys are going to do the book only says so much um <laughs> uh yeah so on that note why don't we all get started how does that sound want to be not ourselves for a little bit that sounds yeah. yeah. All right. Like uh, so for your guys' frame of reference, uh, we're going to just pretend that uh, this is like alternate timelines with the same characters. You know, um, you all have met up after your at your proposed reunion um, and have spent a lovely week enjoying each other's company uh, and catching up, only to be summoned by the lord of a large town nearby called Wolfvale, uh, which has called upon you to address its current issues. Uh, and the lord has impressed upon you that it is most urgent 
that you arrive. Uh, though your adventuring career has been long and fruitful, never has it occurred to you to be commissioned by the very leader of an entire town. And Wolfvale, it should be said, is no small town, but a city posted on a large river turn. From there on, Wolfvale has enjoyed plenty of wealth with its industry of fishing, quick trade with the nearby regions, and all the like. However, recently the solution has grown dire. From the letter you were sent by the Lord of Wolfville, Daily Night Song, you can see he is disturbed to say the least. Now, as you are being escorted through his keep within Wolfvale, you can sense the urgency of the matter. The attendants of the keep seem to be darting to and fro in a state of disarray. Uh, you notice townsfolk making their way within the keep, being escorted out by guards, or complaining about various issues. Surely all is not well, but... In a few short minutes, you are nonetheless taken to a small room. Uh, it has the air of a war room with a large mahogany table, chairs, documents, and maps scattered about. Uh, and on one of the chairs, uh, Lord Nightsong seems to have planted himself, uh, relying on the chair to hold him up from the ground, uh, with his arms crossed and a very uh, sour look on his face. <clears throat> Come in! About time you all got here. Sorry, we, we did our best. Things are pretty busy out there. Yes, well, certainly. It doesn't take that long for a letter to reach you lot. Said the fastest ship we have. Well, there seemed to be a lot of uh, commotion on the way here anyway. Is there something wrong? Well, yes, brass tacks. I hired a local family of architects, Jelmilfis family, as a matter of fact, to build a small settlement upstream, uh, closer to the mountains. But then there was a wreckage, some sort of a rock slide, and see what caused it, some of the builders decided to head towards the source of the river. Upstream, deep inside the mountain, they wanted to try and see if diverting the course of the river would help. But, instead, they found a chunk of the Underdark with a coastline. I don't think you heard me quite right. I said they found Underdark with coastline. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. Why do you think we could help learn more about that? I mean, I mean, have you looked in the mirror? Elf. You've come in here fully equipped for a war, haven't you? Uh, I mean, I suppose so. I mean, we're just, we're adventurers, really. Uh kind of uh, finishing up a reunion trip. We weren't exactly uh, prepared for this. Okay. All right, fine. <sighs> Underneath, we also found part of a ship. And we found a ship? We also, we found parts of a ship. Nothing Nothing could survive that was that old this long. So we found parts of the ship, and we also found some sort of spider-like creature. Was that creature alive? Well... Only one man did make it back, so I would assume at this point they're still alive. And I assume you want us to kill that creature? Well, you could at least take a look for me, couldn't you? We need to see what's going on down there.
Well, who was the who was the one who who saw this creature? You said that there was there was one, one who of, came one, back. One of the workers. He's he's since long gone by now. I'm sure. He made a report, took his pay, and left town. Okay. Does he still have family here? I'm not sure. So are you going I, to pay I, us for this? I am, of course, I will pay you. I will pay you 12,000 gold upon completion. And you may keep whatever you find within. 12,000 gold. And all you saw one you of these creatures? Do, all you need to do is head down and dispatch whatever the leader of these things is. I will send soldiers in once that's done to dispatch the rest. What do you say? I mean, we're looking for something else to do, right? Yeah. And also, if it's hurting other people, then I feel like, yeah, we should probably do something about it. At least take a look. Of course. Yeah. We accept. We'll do our best. Very good. <clears throat> and uh, Lord Nightsong uh, finally does stand up and bows to each of you, and the expression of relief is very apparent across his whole face. Um, he is glad that there is a solution to this problem, finally. Uh, he turns his head towards the windows, which open directly into the view of the mountains not too far off, and he taps the table thoughtfully as he turns back to face you. I should probably mention the head of the project, Joaquin, the young raven. He'll be the one you ought to communicate with, no one else. He'll lead you downstairs. From there on out, you'll be on your own, mostly, but remember, to everyone else except him, you are simply fellow architects coming in for a review. With that, you are escorted out of the keep and are guided towards the mountains upstream. You arrive at the base, and you see plenty of workers, dwarven, elvish, human, dark elves, all of which are at work uh, terraforming the area. Why don't one of y'all give me a super quick uh, perception check? Excuse me. Who wants to do it? I mean, I've got plus seven. I'll give it a go. Wow, casual. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess. Uh... Anyone else? Anyone else want to back me up on that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, you got a point. Yeah, <laughs> the I dice gods. No, the dice gods have punished me for my hubers. I back uh, up. What'd you roll? Uh. I mean, natural one. Oh, oh, God. So an eight. What a way to start it. Oh, yes. no. Oh, <laughs> holy. Wow, okay. I, well, let's get him out of the way now, you know? Yeah. No, okay, yeah, yeah. that's very true. I, oh. Did well. you not plan for someone to crit that? <laughs> no. <laughs> not really. <laughs> That wasn't that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. Oh, we're already, off to a great already start. Already breaking those yeah. rules. <laughs> Hell yes. It's okay. It's fine. Um, <laughs> Someone please get my back on this. Uh, you bump into a very thin human man uh, with a very large backpack uh, that seems far too big for him, and you both go spilling. Uh, can you please make me a uh, deck save? Okay, sure. Can I help on this? Like, if the I see, you like... Me. Oh, so now we're helping. Yes. <laughs> oh, I couldn't... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, I couldn't... Why don't you also... Why don't you and uh, uh, Dasha also make 
perception checks to see if you notice what's about to happen. And we'll see if we can salvage this in bullet time. That is a 14. Okay. Ooh! That's a... Uh, that's a 23. Oh! <laughs> okay. So... That's what you, we were looking for. You do absolutely uh, slam into this guy, uh, but Otep is able to grab you, Fenris, and keep you from spilling. Uh, but this guy does fall over and takes four damage um, <laughs> and is now Whoa. lying on the ground groaning, clutching a sprained wrist uh, with the uh, goodies in his pouch uh, or his pack strewn about the street. I immediately start uh, helping him pick that up. Here, no, can I lay on hands? No. I'm can so I, can sorry. I, it, I, I want to I want to approach the guy like, hey, li listen, listen, we, we, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of new here. What are you? Uh, that, oh, my my name is Otep. Here, here. Do, do you look like you're a little bit hurt. Do you Architect. want me to help you? I can help you. I'm a I'm a Just I'm a paladin of the light. Yeah, we're new arc uh we're new architects working on this project. We've just been hired. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're here with the dig. That would be lovely. Yeah. No. Okay. Here. Then I wanna. Can I lay on hands and and give him back that four health? Yeah, sure. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah, I do that. Um, and makes that sound. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, this this kindly gentleman uh, is going to get to his his feet and shake all of your hands and thank you. You've all been so kind. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't see you there. Ha 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 ha. Um, and uh. <laughs> Is as as he gets to you, Otep. Uh, yeah. He is going to hand you a small item. Can you please roll me a d6? Okay. I'm so sorry, I lied to you. A d8. A d8. Yep. I can I can do a d8. Uh, what it what is that with? Nothing. Just a straight that... D eight. Oh, just a straight D eight. So, uh, that's so a what four. this is is a uh, I'm rolling on an item table. Oh, fun. Yeah, I I have been building some item tables and things from various resources on the internet and some homebrew stuff and building them for myself so that there's hopefully lots of encounters and things, um, for you all to play with. Anyway, uh, you rolled a four. Okay. Uh, yes, it did. He passes you a troll's fang hanging from a leather cord. And then. Oh, and thank you, thank you, sir. What What is your name? My name is Gerard Orling. What What was it again? What tooth? Uh, oh. a troll tooth. A troll tooth. Thank you. What what does this, uh, it, my my fine sir? Uh, I'm not really used to this area or, or trinkets like these. Does this like do anything, or is this just like really cool looking? Oh, it's literally just a troll's tooth. Oh, like, okay, cool. Like, okay, like, then like I, you I, as I, you as I, Otep I, are aware that it is. It's just a straight. It's just a straight oh, troll's cool. tooth necklace. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> I just, I throw it on. I throw it on myself. I'm like, thank you very much, sir, and I tie it around the back of my neck. He he just totters off the way he was headed. Um, can I please get a, a charisma check from somebody? Charisma check? Mm -hmm. so, so, so just roll, roll a d20 and add your charisma modifier to it. Sure. No one other than me. Sure. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Again? Oh no! That! The dice gods! <laughs> we- I'm burning incense right now, like that, what- Oh, I should burn some incense. Wait, um, are no, the they, two rolls uh, that are starting this game natural ones? No, no, no! No, no, no! Okay, I got a good. two! I got a two! <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> so that's a, a four! One. So that's a four! Good, okay. I'm not very good. I'm very shook! Good, good, good. Shook it. I'm shook it. 
Do not judge me. Should one of us also roll for that? Uh-oh. Uh, you could. Oh, this is just ambient noise. Oh, okay, oh. I was like, hold on. No, less scary. Sorry, it was a thing that I remembered that... First stream, not going to get all the pieces right the first time, but we've incorporated Rhythm Bot, so hopefully I can use some sounds and music for ambience. Hello, Rhythm As we're here. Great. So this is just literally just generic town sounds. I'm giving away all my secrets, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's what cool magicians do. This is true. Okay, so you guys... Uh, uh, God damn it. All right, somebody else try... Yeah, I'll, I'll back you up on Try this check. check. You gotta make this yeah. one, guys. <laughs> okay, hang on. That is... That's just straight charisma? Mm -hmm. That's a... Thir that's a 12. <laughs> Woo! It's better. It's better. It's better. Well... By a factor of three. Unfortunately... A couple of uh, the old construction workers have taken notice to y'all as mm. you've been knocking over old men and spilling their wares and uh, have started to come over and a gruff looking dwarf covered in dirt walks up and jabs a stubby finger towards the three and says, what are you doing here? Huh? We're looking for Joaquin. Who are you? We're architects. Hired by Lord Knights. Yeah, I'm going to need a deception check. However, you don't have to do it at disadvantage because you told a half-truth when you said you were hired by the Lord. Great, that's an 18. Ooh, you just make it. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. He He really, really squints at you and eyeballs all three of you up and down hard because he know he hasn't seen any architects that look like you three you got a lot of armor on for an architect there otep mr tall and broad and mr i you need you need the armor so that when the cave rocks fall you don't get bruised Did you say that out yeah. loud to him? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to say that out loud to him, because that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I don't want to try to roll to make that good, because then the dice gods are going to punish us. <laughs> um, good. Okay. Um, he, he does eyeball all three of you and just kind of goes, well... He'll be by in a few minutes. Just don't touch anything. Uh, and he Will kinda, do, sir. He, he, like, makes eye contact with you, which he was refusing to do before. But, like, not in a nice way. He's mad that you forced him to acknowledge you. Um, and then he walks back to where his group was standing and decides to start getting to work uh, with all of them. And they, they disappear down into the mines. Uh, after a few minutes sweating about and uh, playing with your troll's tooth necklace, uh, I think you probably chase Fenris around with it, trying to infect, infect them. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm dodging, jumping, crawling. <laughs> Trying not to be too conspicuous, but I am. I don't care how conspicuous we are. Fuck <laughs> it. As as the two of you are chasing each other around, uh, uh, oh no, I'm so sorry, Finn. I already forgot your character name. Dasha. Yeah. Not Delph. Dasha. Um, uh, oh. a gaunt man, uh, very gaunt, tall, uh, elf approaches the three of you. Uh, and simply touches one of you on the shoulder, beckons, and starts walking. What do you do? Uh, who... 
who does he touch on the shoulder? Because if it's me, I'm going to just follow him, and I don't know if they're going to notice. But um, uh, it, it probably, was one of them. It probably would have been one of the two that were running. Um, yeah. Probably Otep, because you stand out more. Like, you're big and in shiny armor. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to feel a, yeah. a, a thin but very firm elven hand uh, on your shoulder as you two are running around like mad people in the square. <laughs> okay. Uh, I turn around, I'd lock eyes with the person, and I say, uh, Tarati Nai Kalad, which is, the whole is the light. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a greeting. It's like, hey, what's up? Uh, and then he, he is going to reply back, uh, the light is within, in Elvish. Ooh. And I, and I turn to my friends and I say, I think this is the guy we're gonna need to follow. Cool. Great. I'm going to throw oh. one more rock at uh, Fenris as we continue walking. I catch the rock. Can I make a dex check? Yeah, go for it. All right. No. <laughs> All right, is that sleight of hand or is that just straight dex? To catch a rock, um, it's going to probably just be straight dex. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. Yeah, you catch the rock. Um, it's a very Great. smooth rock, but it's just a rock. Okay. Nonetheless, I'll put it in a pocket. We love gonna, a good rock. We do. I appreciate the not nod to uh, Fenris for catching that rock. <laughs> yeah, no, that, kudos. Yeah, well done. All Always. right, I've got a note here now that says, read this, so we're gonna. <clears throat> Gaunt and yet driven, Joaquin quickly leads you away from the main work site, a little ways into the mountain, where you see a makeshift cavern has been transformed into his office. From there on out, out of sight of everyone else, he slowly leads you into deep tunnels. Hitting close underground. Hang on one second. We need a mood change. Good, good. Kit, Kit and I are on the same level. Oh, we're, yeah. we're, we're kicking ass. Oh yeah. I was, I was just trying to change the level of my music, my music, <laughs> spot, and uh, then I just saw you two uh, playing air piano. So, uh, uh oh, uh oh. oh my bass went Oh no. From there on out, back. out of sight of everyone else, he slowly leads you into deep tunnels, heading closely underground until you reach a large break in the rock, leading downwards into a massive drop at the bottom, which you can just about make out with a shine of water. Joaquin speaks with a grim tone. I wish you good fortune. You can either choose to land in the water or slowly climb down a rope ladder. As for your return, I shall give you this stone idol of the raven. Speak a message into its ear and it will return to me. At that point, we shall know to retrieve you. With those words, Joaquin hands you the raven statue he had mentioned. And now, the underground awaits. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. Um, here, one second, let me, let me, I want to check my spell, do I have a light spell? Because I might. Can you see? We have dark vision, I, right? Oh wait, no, yeah, I got dark you vision. Can see. Um, can you yes. guys see the map? Yes. Great question. Uh, yeah. Great. No. no. No, I cannot. I am still, well, I can see kerosene. You were in the You're wrong, in the wrong game, baby. Oh god. What game <laughs> oh, should no. I be in? You yeah, this is, in, this is rough. You should be in What Lurks Below. I There's a link to it in the Discord scheduling chat. And if you click on it, it'll let you join the game. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this is I why we need to figure out why the stream is not showing. There we go. I have a question. I might have an answer. 
Is there a way that you could put our character titles under all of our names so that all of us can see them, so that we can... Is there a way to do that? In Discord? No, in the Roll20, because I can see my character name, but I can't see... There should be a display as setting. Okay. Or do you want it under the tiles, you're saying? Yeah, under the tiles. Just because it'd be... It, like that. Yeah. Because I can see mine, and now I can see Fenris. Cool. Um, yeah. And we are here. So everybody can see the map. I know that the map on stream is not the greatest. There, we go. there, that'll work for now. Um, but bam, there we go. Um, although the Discord thing is not so great. There we go. Okay. Cool, we're back in business. Um, Woo! Thanks for your patience while we transfer all this stuff over. Yay. Excellent! Ha ha ha. We appreciate so, your business at this time. Uh, you guys can see this. Uh, you are standing on a very tall, uh, vertical, <clears throat> vertical uh, cliff face. Uh, there's a rope ladder right in front of you, uh, Otep. Um, you can see it probably drawn on there. Uh, or you can choose to take your chances and you'll have to make a little bit of a swim uh, over to shore. You probably don't want to jump off uh, down on the bottom near Fenris. That's probably shallow and rocky. No, I'm good with that. Uh, I'd like to go down the rope ladder, please. All right. Give me an acrobatics check, please. Cool, cool, cool. Here, give me one second. Do, 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 do. Acrobatics. Ooh, I get nothing to this, so. Oof. Ooh, and I got a three. Oof. You cool. go Oof. and you get. I got your, heavy armor. You, yeah. I don't. I'm not normally on fucking ladders, dude. Hey. Like you give me, you give me a hill. I'm good any day of the week. Ladders. Well, this next you part's did. really gonna suck for you then. Um. Because oh, you, you get your hands on the rope and you get your feet and you go to step off the ledge and you're just not prepared for that. You're used to, you know, the four towns and the hills the and climbing and yeah, you don't really go on a ladder in full plate usually, let alone a rope ladder. Oh. Um, so you're going to take 20 D6 bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground. Can I make a check to grab him? Uh, yeah, you can absolutely try and grab him. Okay, um, is that... Give me a strength saving throw. Okay. Can I also... Can I grab onto the back of Fenris? To help, like... Just hold... Like a help? Yeah, yeah. just like to... Just to, to make... help okay, hold. if together. you're also gonna do it... Okay, first give me... A dash. I first give me a perception check. Okay. Perception. Let me give you a perception check. Oh no, I'm very scared. Oh no. That's a natural one. Oh no. Nope. You are. <laughs> oh, no. You are completely you don't see anything. preoccupied <laughs> with this under dark. In fact, you. You probably are more comfortable here than anyone else, which is probably why you're not paying as close attention as you should be to what's happening. Um, I would imagine you probably feel the most comfortable in this environment out of out of anybody in the party. Um, so, yeah, go ahead, uh, Fenris, and try and make a strength saving throw to, to, to hold on to your buddy there. Okay, that's an 18. How much do you weigh, Ben? Give me one second. I think I weigh like 
I'm about six foot tall and mostly muscle, so what, like two hundred pounds? And with that armor on? And with that armor on, that's probably what, like two. You know what? I'm yeah, gonna say yeah. with an eighteen, it's enough to keep him from falling, but you cannot pull him up. Okay. So, I yelled, Dasha! Okay. <laughs> so you are... We'll help you! No, you are, Ben, you are literally being held on by, like, the 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 edges of your bracers. Like... Okay! <laughs> Dasha, a little Whoa. help here! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Um, I'm gonna run over and probably try to pull back on the back of Fenris. Or, no, I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab uh, like his other. other arm and start pulling. Okay, um, why don't one of you, one of you, not Ben, uh, give me a strength check at advantage. I, I will do that. Thank you. Yeah, I will do that. You get advantage because all three of you are kind of focused on this. That is a 20. Not a natural 20, but that is a 20. Oh yeah. 20. He, he comes, he comes Love flying up that ladder. Uh, and you you can feel uh, the the lichen that has attached itself into the arch of your boot um, that was the cause for you to slip. Uh, got like a big old that... chunk of it under there. Son of a... What it, it, what is it? Lichen, moss, dirt. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I, I pull out my dagger and I just kind of like poke it out of the end of my boot. I'm like, uh, I gotta turn to you both, and I just like do do like my hand out, being like, thank you both, middle light bless you both. Jeez, I don't even know what the hell that was. It's okay. It's, someone... yeah. it's okay. I'll I'll go. I'll go down the rope. Yeah, I will too. <laughs> uh, should I make a should I make a check to go down the rope? Yeah, yeah. You gotta. Uh, you're going down the rope. It's gonna be an acrobatics check. Okay. Acrobatics. Acro. God damn it, it's a 10. Nope. That is a 15 for me. Okay, so technically, Fiona said she was going to go first, but Kit yeah. rolled first. So, Fiona, uh, uh, Dasha is on the rope when Fenris starts to go over and slips and falls. I'm going to reach out and try to grab him. Okay. Um,. Fenris, oh, you know I need what? you to give me a dexterity saving throw. And Dasha, I need you to give me a strength saving throw. Alrighty. Ooh, you know what? Instead of that, can I just cast Misty Step? Yeah. Finally, I'm just there we cast go. <laughs> Jesus. I cast Misty Step at third level. Bing, bang, it... boom, you're done. You're on the I... rock <laughs> at the bottom. I will move you. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'm going to take a pause as I do reach out to try to grab Fenris, and suddenly, not there, <laughs> and he's just on the ground. And I'm just looking up like, thanks. And, and I'm going to take a minute and take a breather and then continue yeah. down the road. Otep, Otep looks down the road and goes like, ha, <laughs> ha. He got you! <laughs> I'm gonna, uh... Uh, Fenris, I... you, you feel a little bit, uh, uh... You feel proud of the way that all of you, uh... <laughs> yeah, Sean, magic. Um, my very good friend Sean is apparently here and watching He DMs, a game I play in on hi, Sunday Sean. nights. Oh, hi! Um, the... I've met you. We went over this last yeah. week. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Fenris, you feel proud of how you handled that situation. In the past, you probably would have forgotten about your spells. <laughs> Good on you. Thank um, you. You don't get inspiration for that, but nicely done. <laughs> um, what are you doing, Otep? How are you getting down this thing? It is an option to just I... try and cannonball. Okay, fuck that rope then. I'm just gonna cannonball. Alright, give me an athletics check. Cool. I actually fucking much prefer athletics to acrobatics. Because I get a plus six in athletics. Better roll an 11. 21. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. So, okay. Your plate armor is... 
is, while it is heavy and bulky and not suited for laddering in this particular mm. environment, apparently, um, you are still... It's good for making cannonballs. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you are still a trained warrior, and you do still know how to dive. <laughs> so even though you've got about 120 pounds of armor on, it is a respectably small splash when you go headfirst into the water. Like, Olymp would not, maybe not an Olympian, but you there. Alright, so you're in the water here, and, uh... Cool. And Ruth is, like, golf clapping. And, Dasha, you are probably down with Fenris at this point. Otep, I'm assuming you're gonna just climb up out of the water onto the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. Uh, as you all have made your way down, some drier than others, uh, you find yourselves in a cove. Uh, the only source of light does seem to be the distant bits of kelp on the south shore. Uh, but other than that, you feel pretty much like you're on your own. Um, in the water, both in front and behind you, there appears to be a shipwreck, uh, and one of the portions of rock seems to have a tower on it. Uh, that would be over, over to the east. I'm going to click and highlight that portion of stuff. Um, can you all see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, you notice the, uh, this whole environment seems like it was once on the sea. Um, things don't look the way you would expect them to this far inland. Uh, you look at the water and you even notice that there are waves rolling across the shore at regular intervals. Uh, it's as if this portion of the world, for some reason, is indeed part of the ground, or part of the sea, just here, underneath the mountain. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do one of my divine senses, okay. where, um, as an action, you can detect good and evil until the end of the next turn. You can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or known location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Uh, ho hollow or hollow spell? Uh, hollow. So I am going to Ooh. read it super quick. Cool. This Here, is such a clutch spell. spell. The what the yeah. heck? It's a paladin thing, bro. You wouldn't understand. What? You wouldn't get it. And I get it twice per long rest. It's just That's one of those yeah. like such bullshit. No, we're gonna no, we're gonna, no, I'm just gonna check this shit out real quick. This shit, Crap. it's quiet. It's really far too look fucking at your quiet. Character sheets more closely. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm also, while he's doing that, uh, I'm gonna use Eldritch Sight, which allows me to basically have detect magic on all the time. Within 30 feet. Within 30 feet, you say? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, it's a cleric spell, first of all. Um, Although the paladins might also be able to cast it. Second of all, um, you you don't sense anything inherently evil. Um, you said you cast detect evil and good. John, Ben. Um, one second, I'm sure. Um, it's a divine. It's essentially one of my paladin features. Um, so it's, uh, 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 here, I I'm not it. even sure if it's, yeah. I got it. Divine I sense, yeah. Because it just, it's essentially just detect good and evil, but it's a detect good and evil that I don't have to cast a spell for, I just get you, it twice every long You do long not run. detect any celestials, fiends, or undeads, uh, within range, okay. uh, not 
detect anything within range that has been consecrated or desecrated. Okay. Um, okay. And your thing, Fenris, you said it's basically detect magic, but within 30 feet? It is. I mean, that's detect magic's range is 30, like, radius around myself. Sure. And Eldritch Sight is, I just have it on constantly all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. You're not, you're not getting any. Okay. Anything. I would like to stick my fingers into the water and taste it. Um, it's salty. Is it salty? Okay. So it's like actual ocean water. Uh, it's, it's actual not... salt water. <clears throat> it's actual salt water. Okay. There all mm. there are salt water lakes in our world. Don't know about in Bayron. Very true. I feel like a saltwater lake would be like the least weird thing in Faerun. <laughs> like that's, You're right. that feels like the bar is so low there. I think it's the ocean, but we're in the Underdark, so it's confusing. Um, okay. Well, you guys are currently stuck on a lake away from any light source on a rock in the middle of a lake. What are we cool. doing? I uh, I kind of want to go towards the wreckage of this boat. I want to check out this wreckage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. Me. I'm curious, like, if this is okay. So, if this is from the ocean, like, where the fuck? What does this boat have to do with it? Um. Exploring the wreckage. Yes, I'm exploring the wreckage. Can you give now, me now find the part. An intelligence check, please. I would love to. Give me one second. Also, while while this is happening, I will light a torch. Okay. So we have some. Um, are you guys being? So I take it. I sh before you light the torch, I should ask. I take it by you wanting to light a torch, you are not being stealthily at all? Oh, never mind. I'm, you have nope, an excellent point. I'm just asking. No, I think stealth is the way to go for now. I'm not being stealthy. You're not? Okay. I am personally, I'm I'm just going. No, I am being point. Oh. So, one of you is... <laughs> Let's say, so somebody tell me what the fuck is going on. I... For the for the whatever role you just had me roll for checking the wreckage, well, what what role was that? Intelligence. Intelligence roll. Yes. Cool. I just rolled a nat twenty on that. Yo, <laughs> crit, crit, crit. Okay. Um. So you are super into this boat. Why don't you move yourself to where you are? Cool. Um. Can I move myself? I can't move myself. Oh, that's right, because you didn't have access to the game yet, so I couldn't give you a control of your token. I will do that nope. now. Huh? Yes, yeah. please do. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, um, um, I want to check out the racket. Is there a way that I... Essentially, how is it broken down? Are there, like, two levels to it? No, 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 no. Um, It's just kind of up on an angle. Okay, because I want to kind of like the water. I want to like go up onto the deck and see if I can look down this like cage and see if like I can look down inside. Um. Yeah, why don't you give me? So so yeah, with your with your investigation check. Um, yeah. On that boat, the wreckage of it surprises you. Um. Despite being in the water, it the, the wood doesn't look as rotten uh, as you would expect. Um, the ship is, as okay. you suspected, super fucking old. Um, but it appears to have mm. been been kept in somewhat decent shape, despite the fact that it was in ruins. Um, as if someone had been sort of living in it post-wreck. You know, it doesn't look as if things are sailing ready, but it um. does look as if... This boat was used as as uh, this was like a home for a while. Yeah, um, 
Yeah. And as you're sort of looking underneath, you're you're seeing um, bits of fire, lots of large cobwebs, um, some other things. Oh God. Um, yeah. And then, Kit, why don't you make a stealth check? Yeah. Because are you, where are you headed? Ooh. Well, if I can, is there a way on land to get that power? Is that going to involve crossing water? Um, yeah, you can head to the south and then cl hike your way up over to the east. Okay. Yeah, you can um, cut down to the kelp and then climb up and around. Yeah, sure. Or um, some variation of that that will keep you mostly dry, you Chrissy College baby. F Fenris is a prep school jock, I'm just saying it. <laughs> I mean, not so Thanks much a jock. With, <laughs> with a strength mod of zero, I don't think I'm a jock, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine, prep school art kid. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'll start heading over that way. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll hang around. Uh, I want to see if these guys will... I assume those guys will catch up. So, yeah, I'll go on. About how far should I place myself? We're, I mean, we're out of... Um, you, yeah, so we were out of order, so you've probably gone about 60 feet, so you're probably on the shore at this point. Oh, okay. Probably, like, where the kelp is. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Because yeah. I think in, in terms of how that actually went, you... Mechanically, there is more to deal with with them, so they went first, but you would have been moving while they were discovering stuff, and you would have sort of heard as you were passing that they were basically going, yep, real old. Okay. You know, they're doing that thing that dads do where they stand with their hands on their hips, both looking at the same thing, with their heads cocked to the side, nodding a little bit. Uh, yep. That's, uh... That track. Take a look at that. That's... Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, that's old. Gee. Yeah. Wow. But if but if it, but if you took a it took a little bit of like grease and you oh. just just greased it on up, oh. You know, oh. give give us a couple of weeks and we can really <laughs> restore this to its former glory. Yeah, yeah. How, all we need is like another couple of trees and then yeah. we could get this baby purring. You know, mm. you know. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> on that note, uh... as I am trying, as I successfully suppress my chuckles at this with a stealth roll of twenty seven. <laughs> 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 That's Yay! obscene. I love it. Uh, good. Who allowed good. you to build characters like that? I don't know, Caleb. Uh, I, yeah. I think it was you. You did. What jerk? It's all right. So what a fucking uh, man. That's okay, cause I'm. I'm it's fine. Um, it's. <laughs> can I get uh? I Everybody to please give me a... What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Um, can I also say that I climbed to the top of however tall the mast is at this point? Uh, I don't believe the mast is actually on this part of the ship. The mast is, if you look, it's to the north, and it's collapsed. Is it? Then what's yeah. this? Then what's... Oh, the wheel thing? Is that where the wheel goes? The wheel thing? Like, where I'm... You're... Where my... The yeah. wheel thing? No. <laughs> Do you mean I mean no, that's where the mast was? The that's where the mast was. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I want to oh, climb on yeah, top of okay. that little thing. You're an elf. You're already tall, but sure, you're like I'm eight not. inches taller, I'm I short. guess. I'm pretty short. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make? I'm also crouching. <laughs> what? <laughs> So that means what? I walk over and you're still at the exact same height that you're normally at. I'm just and sitting I'm like, there like... How's the view, Dasha? It's like, it's pretty nice from up here. The air is Good. a lot cleaner. Oh, yeah, no, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, cool boat. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks really old. It looks like someone was here, like, living after it came here. So, I've... I think that this I I don't know what the fuck happened here. Living. This seems old. Yeah. Huh. 
Wait, what do you want uh, from this, Caleb? I want a wisdom saving throw from everybody as a disturbing moan oh, echoes no. through the cavern as uh, the two of you were loudly conversing and you have disturbed not one, but two cloakers as they descend upon oh. the two of you from the sky. Um, wisdom saving throw, you say? Yes. Good thing My I'm wisdom saving wild. throw was, yeah. Mine was 14. Mine's 15. That's with a minus one. Mine is four. What'd you get, Fenris? <gasps> four. Ooh, all right, well, Fenris, you and only you are frightened until the end of the Cloaker's next turn. Great, uh, what does that do again? Uh, basically, I believe that you can't move closer to it. Oh, okay. That's that's about it. I think that's you cool. also need to move away from it, too. Yeah. Oh, that's... Like, you have to, if you have an action, you oh, that your action is you have to move away from it. No, you have disadvantage on ability checks. And attack rolls yeah. while yeah. the creature is within line of sight and you can't willingly move closer. You don't have to run away. Oh, okay. 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 There are some versions of it. I think you're right. That yes. You do have to, like, you have to run, but yes. that's not... it might not be frightening. It, it. Might, be something. it might be like terrify or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is not okay. one of those moments. Um, okay. That's good. Well, shit, baby. Okay. So, oh, they're on the boat with us now. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I need some oh, initiative. No. Okay. Oh, shit. okay. Oh, God. Here we go. Um, and I'm going to get a pencil for this so I can actually try and track this. Um, Cloaker red. And Woo, okay. Mm hmm. Chad Dice is not cooperating, I think. Fenris, can I call you Fen? Dude. Yeah, go Thank for it. God. Not Riss. Alright, um... Okay. Alright, Otep. Yeah. 19. Fen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. that yeah. was 20. Not natural. Okay, Dasha? Oh. That's gonna be an 8 for me. What's your dex? My dex is a plus three. Seventeen. My dex. Whichever of which, whatever. All right. Add, so first thing. up, we have, believe it or not, Ben. Oh. Well, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, there it is. As a kind of reaction to being frightened. As I guess happens with me, because this has happened before, I just let off an Eldritch Blast, um, two beams targeting one each of these creatures. Alrighty. Roll to hit. That's disadvantage, right, on both of these? Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see. Sorry, dude. No, it's all good. Go. And, oh, okay. Well, the dice gods will... I gotta do math. Suck less, jeez. That was harsh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. You kidding? Um. Oh. Okay. Well, of course the dice gods would do that. Okay. Um, yeah, that. Seven? That's a. Uh, that's that's for one of the attacks. Okay, seven's not gonna do it. Yeah, that's for one of the attacks. Okay. It's a shame. The other one was a twenty-four. That for disadvantage. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Hang on a second. Uh, Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah, that'll definitely hit. That'll more. Okay. Most cool. damage. Okay. Damage, man. That is okay. Oh. oh, are you kidding me? 
worst anticlimax ever. That's one point. Oh wait, no, I never mind. I add my. It's spellcasting ability modifier, right? Yes. Shit damage rolls. Okay, that's four. There we go. Four points of damage. I, um. It's on, still diving. on the one that's. Okay, on the one that's closest. I'm they, if they're equidistant, it's uh, the one I guess that's closer to. Sure. Can uh, you see the blue dot that it has on it? Oh uh, yeah, the one that's yep. closer to my friend. Uh, one A. Top or bottom? Oh okay. Um. Let's go. Let's go with the bottom. Next up is Otep. Cool. Uh, I want to hit this dude that's right next to me. I want to pull out my glaive and I want to slice him. Okay, slicey slice. Okay. Um, do do do. Here, I need to figure out attacks. I haven't done this from just a sheet in a while. <laughs> uh, okay. So, ooh, I get plus. Oh wait, yeah. So my proficient here, do 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 do. I need to find my proficiency. And don't forget all that really good paladin stuff that lets you like quadruple your mods and things. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm trying to. That's like I'm trying to look at them all now, and it's like. <gasps> um. Shoot. Uh, Actually, so I'm sorry. I think I have one other thing to add to that damage. Let me double check. Okay. Well. Sure. Yeah. I do, because I have Agonizing Blast, so oh, I can God add my... God damn it! <laughs> um, <Yeah>, okay... <laughs> so, question about that. Does that mean I, since I already added my spellcasting ability modifier for damage there, does that mean I add it twice, or was I wrong to add it before? Um... I was probably wrong to add it before, right? Uh... So, Alt. it will tell you which modifier to add in the spell description, usually. Oh, gotcha. For agonizing okay. Blast, you add your Charisma mod. Yeah, because Eldritch Blast is usually just flat Straight damage roll. die. So I okay, think great. You, so yeah, you already did that. Yeah, Eldritch great. Blast is usually Perfect. just a straight die roll. So. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Glaive time. Slice it in half. Cool. So I get a plus one for my light weapons proficiency and plus six on the weapon to hit so one second da, 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 da. all right so that's a 19 to hit yeah that'll hit cool where's that weapon what do i roll for damage oh uh, 1d10 plus three slash Ooh, that's a 10 right there. That's a that's a 13 and then anything else? I How much damage do you do? Uh I do 13 damage plus here. I'm looking at my other feats to see if I <laughs> um, uh, I yeah, well, have because... this wonderful thing called smite. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at my, I'm, I'm looking at my divine smite, and I'm, yeah. Okay, okay so I'm totally gonna do that. Um, so when you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can expel one spell slot to deal two d8 extra radiant damage to a target, plus one d8 for each spell level higher than first. Ooh. Which I'm trying to look at. I can't figure out what spell level I'm at. Uh, you are 6th level, so I believe you are casting up to 4th level spells. 
Oh wow. Okay. Cool. I might be wrong, um, but I believe. Yeah. No. I'm not. Uh, and how many? I I also don't even know. I think it might be third. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh no, I'm only at. Oh wow. Actually, looking at this, I'm only at second level. Hilarious. Um. I mean, you can upcast spells. Yeah. No, I know. Um. Yeah, at 6th level you should have 4... Oh, okay, 6th level you should have 4 1st level slots and 2 2nd level slots. Okay, cool. You've then uh, then your... I'm just gonna do... You've also got your Aura of Protection. Okay. Here, one second. Alright, um, so yeah, I'm gonna do one of one of my first level slots to do the 2d8, so let me do, 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 do. this one, and I need this one another d8. There it is. Right. I'm glad that Sean so that's another so that's another eight so i do 13 plus eight so 21 21 slice points of damage to the one with the blue dot Woo! yes and then i'm also going and then i'm going to take an extra attack as my action so i'm going to slice again okay um so plus seven to hit that's another 19. That will hit. Your target is only 14, y'all. Ooh, Ooh okay. <laughs> yeah, That's right. Don't, don't, you don't need to power swing on these things. It's all good. Cool. Uh, and then I do a D10. Oh, God damn it. Where's my D10? Where's my D10? Uh, so for the second swing, it's going to be six. Six damage. Six damage. So a total of 27 points of damage. Yes, all together. Slice, slice. Uh, Did I kill this, it? This thing is officially bloodied in two swings from you. Um, this thing went from like a little pokey from the Eldritch Blast that it took off of Fenris to uh, fully missing a couple of the grasping claws that were headed for your face. Uh, it is now Dash's turn. Mwah. Um, cool. I'm going to pull out the two daggers from my boots, and I'm going to double slash, which is a double slash, like, two weapon fighting is an action and a bonus action, right? Is that right? I believe technically the transition to your second weapon is a bonus action. Um, um well, I'm going to I'm going to double slash. I think yeah, I'm just going to double slash this uh this this man's right here uh with the red dot. Okay. Yeah, so you uh, can use your bonus action to attack with a different light melee weapon that you're holding in the other hand. You simply don't add your ability modifier unless the modifier is negative. Okay. You cool. can also throw it if the weapon has the thrown property instead of making a melee attack with it. Right. And I'm I'm within melee range of the red one, of this red man's, right? Oh, or gosh, am yeah. I... oh yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will I will they are double large. slash. The they are they are like a Batman cloak designed to eat your face. Thank that's, you. That's what they look like. They look like Batman when Batman. They look like Batman if you're looking at him through like the scarecrow cactus juice shit in the Nolan films. Ooh. Or man bat perhaps. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. even worse, like like even more perverted somehow. Ooh. Um. So that first that first slash is a nineteen to hit. Uh, that will hit. Yes. All right. That is 
Wow, these do not do much damage. Um, <laughs> and, uh, well, I, before I... Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Um, that's... That is... Seven damage on the first one. Okay, that's not bad. Um, it's, it's literally the most I could have done, so... Oh. It's well, you're not 1d4 paladin. plus 3. I'm, I literally just have these daggers for, for the point of being able to do Fey Light. Um, and then with my uh, bonus action, I'm going to... What? I don't have a sword. Yeah, we'll talk later about it. Okay. Okay, I might have a sword. I might have a sword, everyone. Um, and with the offhand, I have a bow, but I'm not... Anyway, yeah. not the yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, um, you don't want to disengage and get I'm not going to use that. Yeah. Um, and then for my offhand, that is a 14 to hit. Uh, Ty goes to the roller. That will also hit. Roll your damage. Okay. Yeah. Right. Get it. Come on, get That it. is four damage. <laughs> Hey. Um, Total of 11 and, damage. Not bad. Well, I also have another action, because for some reason, I have two actions. Um, so, I am going to test. Yeah, R.I.P. Kurt Langstrom. Drop an F in the chat for the homies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I have the chat feed also. Things at once. It's pretty cool. I am going to cast a uh, magic missile. Okay. Um, just a first level. On I'm gonna send all three, all all three blasts of it to the same this man's. Yeah, that was, I mean those just hit. Yeah, Royal and damage. so that that is each of those. Sean, now I know what it feels like to be on the receiving end of Magic Missile, buddy. It's only yeah. level one. Calm down. I have a wand that'll let me cast it up to six level. Oof. Oh, uh, that's eight damage. Okay, so a total of 19 damage. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, he's not bloodied, but you you he took a healthy stabbing from you. Um, if he was a mugging victim, he would be glad to have survived. Um, Yay. However, unfortunately for all of you, it's my turn. Oh, no. Everybody make another wisdom saving throw. Yay. My best thing. Ten. You fail. You're still frightened, but this time ah. the other cloaker. Oh, great. That's a, that's a four. You are frightened! Ooh. Oh, sorry, 11. But that's... You're still frightened. Okay. I got an uh, 8. Are you sure you're not immune to being frightened yet, Ben? No, I'm immune to disease. Okay, cool. Does your aura of protection do nothing for this? Uh, un momento. I would say, this should be like your I'm shining right moment now? as a... As a paladin. Do I have? I don't think I have. Do I have or? According to what I was literally just reading under paladin, you get it at six level. Oh wait, do 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 do. While you are conscious, you grant all friendly creatures within you a plus one to all saving. No, so that's what or. So we all actually got plus one on that saving. Oh, oh okay. Still don't think it would have been so, enough to save any so of you. Five. No. Or plus twelve. Yeah, I that got a nine. That counteracts my minus one that I have to wisdom. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, well, you're all frightened, so all of your ability checks are now going to be made at disadvantage for the next little bit until the start of this one's turn. Uh, next turn, I should say. Uh, the good news is that in, like, 30 seconds, your kid, you are no longer frightened of the other one. The oh, great. But, you know, I think Fenris just watched, like, yeah. one swoop down and chunk at a friend, and then watched a friend viciously stab another one, and is, like, super freaked out that there's more than one. Um, yep, I think you're right. I couldn't see the second one. Yeah, 
But now Otep, I can. Otep, you took a healthy, healthy chunk out of uh, Big Blue over there. So you're going to be... 27 damage. Yeah, you're going to be multi-attacked. Uh, it's going to try and bite you, and it's going to try and tail you. Um, so cool. the bite is first. Uh, that's a one. Does a one hit? Uh, a one does not hit. Okay. One surprisingly hit. enough. All right. Wow. I thought your AC would be uh, lower than that somehow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly enough. Just how it goes, I guess. All right. Uh, does a seventeen hit for the tail attack? Uh, no, it does not. What? My AC is eighteen. Oh, <laughs> shit. God. All right. So by one. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, it's it uh, it knows better than uh, to try and mess with a good thing, so it's gonna invoke an opportunity attack and fly out of reach of you. Do I also get an opportunity attack on that? I want to get. Uh, I want to attack. That. Yeah, you both do. You both get an attack of opportunity. Roll your d20s. Woo! Also, and I get, wait, I get something cool with opportunity attacks. Oh, One shit. second, I need to find it. God do, damn do, do, it. Do, do, do. Yeah, sentinel. So when you no, you with took an the sentinel attack, feet! Yeah. No! Sucks to suck, bro. Uh, yeah, okay, so here, first I gotta hit it, so. <laughs> I got a natural 20 on that. <laughs> Yo! <Bitch. laughs> shit, I got a 9. Uh, you do not hit. Damn it. Slice it up. Slice it up, Dash. Slice and dice. Oh, Dasha, slice a slice. I mean, again, it's only like 1d4. <laughs> double. I know. But, I, I but doubled and plus It's three. already. You don't struggling. double the, the modifier, right? No. You just no. double the dice. No. That's a 9. That's 9 damage. Wait. 9 damage. Nicely done. Sean's having intense Scheidenfrude right now. Uh, all right, so you're at okay. Um, you you nip off a foot, but it's still flying. Uh, like a but... like a like a foot, like I I I chop off its foot. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you you now have like in your that hand was the right reaction, a cloaker foot. I'm I'm adding that to my stuff. <laughs> yeah, add it to your inventory. You can have a cloak. I'm adding it. You absolutely it's gonna should. like mold That's... and get gross and nasty in a day or two, but like you can have it. But for now, I have it. Fucking. You better remember to get rid of feral that. child. You are a feral, feral child. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna need to like cleanse your <laughs> badge. I'm not gonna. I'm, I wanna. I wanna. I want it, but I don't wanna like put it in my bag yet. But I want it. it okay. Moving right past that, uh, the red wait, ones. Wait, go... wait, 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 what? hold, hold. Huh. Uh, with my with my sentinel thing, uh, -huh. uh, when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, you can use the reaction to make a melee weapon against the attacking Cree. Oh wait, no, never mind. Never mind. I don't want to attack Dasha. <laughs> That's very kind of you. I thought that I thought that I was gonna be able to add something to your attack, but uh, no. No, but you might be able to hit this cloaker that's about to attack Dasha in a second here. Well, unless you're yeah. well. Anyway, Dasha, uh, you're gonna get multi-attacked because you stabbed this guy a bunch in the ribcage. I really didn't no, appreciate didn't. that. I'm uh, does a ooh, does a twenty. Just yeah, it does. Great. Um, yeah, it does. Unfortunately for you, this really sucks. It was the bite attack. Uh, so oh, no. you're going to take 2d6 plus 3 piercing damage. And then oh, no. uh, can we confirm that you are uh, a medium sized creature? Yeah, I think I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm like 5. Four. Yeah, okay, I think great. I'm so you're going to take a total of eight piercing damage, and then because of your size, uh, you are now basically.
grapple by this cloaker. Um, it has become attached to your head, and you are blinded and unable to breathe. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Uh, this is hilarious, because this is the second time it's happened to you. I know! <laughs> um, so... Yeah, uh, I, I will read you the full thing of what this says. Um, if the target is large or smaller, the cloaker attaches to it. Uh, the cloaker attaches to the target's head, and the target is blinded and unable to breathe while the cloaker is attached. While attached, the cloaker can make this attack only against the target and has advantage on the attack roll. The cloaker can detach itself by spending five feet of its movement. A creature, including the target, can take its action to detach the cloaker by succeeding on a strength check. Boom. So, yeah, that is the end uh, of the cloaker's turn, and it is now Fen's turn. Okay, uh, which- am I no longer frightened by one of them? You are no longer frightened by one of them, which is the blue one. Uh, the red one still has all of you frightened. So, okay. uh, you, Otep, you are unable to move any closer to it. Uh, same what? goes for you, Fen, and actually- Oh, crap. Uh, you, Dasher, actually have been pulled in five feet closer into the loving embrace of this cloaker. Yeah. Uh, Why would you say that to me? Because it wants you. <laughs> it wants to suck the marrow out of your bones and use your <laughs> sinews for floss. <laughs> Why nice, have it split so yeah. <laughs> Um, ah! yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's Eldritch Blast that guy. Yeah, yeah. right. Do it. Hit it. Oh, we do. That's a natural 20. Oh, crap, Woo! yeah. Roll Woo! those. Roll those double. Roll your other attack, and then you can do all of your damage at once and see if this thing pops like a balloon. All right. Actually, I see. Do I see Dasha getting, like, awesome. face hugged by the other one? Um. Why don't you give me a constitution saving throw to see how uh, how strongly your wits are about you in this moment. Okay. Having just, like, fallen off a rope ladder, ambushed by cloakers. That's a 19 on that con. Yeah, okay. Um, you, I would say you definitely uh, probably... The three of you have worked, been around each other long enough. You, I think, probably know what it sounds like when you are all being successful in combat. And right now, the muffled screaming coming from the vague direction of Dasha, uh, coupled with the muffled thumping and squawking of the cloaker, you could reasonably put together that they could probably use some help over there. However, you are ultimately terrified of this thing and cannot find the strength in your knees to move any closer to the boat. Okay, well that's fine. Um, Because Eldritch Blast is 120 feet, so I'm going to use the other beam and uh, and I think target that one. Um, yeah, yeah that one? so I'll roll that okay. second attack, which I, I recognize that that. Oof. Yeah, that would be a 11, I think. Yeah, yeah that's not going to do it. But Oh no, yeah. wait, wait. Actually, sorry, I forgot to add 14. So that it does. We'll do it. Okay, so okay. roll. It's going to be it's going to be at a minimum 4 d10 or whatever it is. Oh, okay. Right? Well, I only one of them was a crit. Oh, only, all right. Only the I'm first so, hit okay. Crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so I'll roll that crit. Yes, please. Okay, that, that's eleven on uh, the one with the blue dot. Yep. Okay, and then yeah. hit that eldritch blast. That is unfortunately. Oh no! Never mind. Thank God for blast. That's only four, but four on the uh, the red dot one. Okay. All right. Um, blue's looking rough. Big blue is looking like blue. super rough. Um, yeah. All right. Who's next in the order? Uh, it is now Otep's turn. Otep, you you just yeah. watched this thing 
Uh, you watch one thing try and smack the crap out of you, fly away, and then uh, before you can turn back around, a second one has grabbed your friend Dasha and is currently working on eating her as quickly as possible. Yeah, no, can I- is this the one that I'm scared of? Yep, sure is. Oh, shit. Cause I- I don't think I can do anything. Cause I like- Read stuff, or are you- Yes. Yeah, I'm still- I'm trying to- I'm literally trying to find this spell. All good. Just um, checking. Take your time. We all um, got time. Okay, cool. Then I'm actually gonna do this. So I, because I can't do any health, do I, I can't do any other stuff. I'm going to cast aid on Dasha and um uh do 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 do, do Dasha and Fenris. How did I forget Fenris? Um, Dasha and Fenris, which is uh, your spell bolsters your allies with toughness and resolve. I uh, choose up to three creatures within range. Each target's hit point maximum and current hit points increase by five for the duration. Hey, thank and the duration you. and the duration is eight hours. So what is what is take, thank uh, you. increased by? What is what, what? So your hit point maximum and your current hit points. So you essentially oh, cool. get a five okay. point boost for the next eight hours. Amazing. Thank Which you. also can I can I choose myself on aid? Yes, you can. It's a cool, dope then I, spell. <laughs> then I am going to aid myself as well and add... Is that technically five, temporary five. hit points? Uh, or do we just add it to our max? My understanding is it just stacks straight onto your max for eight hours. Okay. Like, because the thing about temporary HP is that you can never refill it. You simply can... Uh, replace it. So if I like lose one temp HP out of twenty, but then the well-meaning fighter rallies me and gives me a D10 of temp HP, that means I lose all nineteen hit points I had had previously, and brings back gives me just ten. Um, so you actually you lose out sometimes with temp HP. So what are you going to do? Either way. That's all I can do. So, um, yeah, that's it. Because I can't get closer to that motherfucker. And the other one is, the other one is still flying away, right? Uh, I mean, it's kind of like hovering. Yeah, I can't reach it. So, yeah. and I, and I feel like I'm a little bit more concerned with the fact that, you know, my friend is kind of caught up in the yeah uh, here's could i argue that maybe i would beat the fright because my friend is in danger no ah, you can bitch. you can make a wisdom saving throw can i make a wisdom okay then I'm, then I'm gonna make a wisdom i'm gonna well fuck you i'm gonna make a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage boom one of them is a nat 20, and the other is uh, a 23. And the mighty paladin, reciting oaths to the light, steps forward to make a strength saving throw to rip Dasha out of the cloaker. Lathrari Igalat Mirsin, Lathorin Igalat Mirsin, and the and the hand just goes to the glee glaive, and I just take a couple steps forward, and I'm gonna slice that motherfucker. Slice, slice, slice. Um, so, boom. Uh, that's a sixteen to hit. Uh, that will hit. Please roll your damage. Boom. Boom. Um, oh wait. <laughs> Can I not hit and instead do the strength saving check to pull to save um, Dasha? <laughs> yes, I was actually because surprised I you were going to go with the hit, but I was going to let it happen. Yeah, I realized like, <laughs> oh shit, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I want to save my you, friend. That's you, the whole reason you, why I was I, I wanted to do that. Okay. You, you rolled to hit, so, but you didn't roll damage. I'll let you do that. That's fine. Okay, thank you. 
Um, so I do a what? It's a strength saving check. Uh, yes, yeah, strength. Just or, a, just or is a it just a, check. Or, just a or just strength, strength check? Okay. Yep. Just a strength check. Boom. Yeah, roll for yoink. Uh, oh, God damn it, that's a ten. Hey, we've rolled for yeet before. Yeah, roll for yoink. That's a ten. It's n it wasn't a good yoink. Ah, uh, you you get a couple hands on there, but uh, the cloaker has had its talons and dash it just long enough. Uh, there's a bunch of blood and saliva and. Oh, Gross. No. Oh. And your hands can I... just slip right off. Could I do a quick, like, lay on hands to try to heal a little bit if my friend's bleeding? Or is that too much? I feel like I've done too much already. Say, that's I feel like that's I've done a whole actions. other action. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, no! No. Um, that, is, that is the end of your turn. Um, okay. It is now Dash's turn. Um, okay. He's got a cloak on I, his face. I am going to smack my right hand onto this cloaker's face and cast Shocking Grasp. Okay. And that, 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 that. Um, do I have to roll to hit or does that just happen? It's a melee grasp. spell attack. What? It's a melee spell attack. Yeah, you can roll. Yeah. Alrighty. That is a 17 to hit. That will hit. Roll your damage. That is 8 damage. Excellent. Um, This... You you charge your hand and you feel your fingers uh, reach forward and find the face as electrical energy shoots out. But Fen and Otep, to your shock, you also hear Dasha screaming out in pain as the cloaker uh. transfers half of the damage that you just gave it back to you as it is currently attached to you. Uh, Whatever. So you uh, take four I electrical think. damage, and the red one takes four electrical damage. Fine, you bitch. And then I'm gonna uh, <laughs> use my second action to to try to yoink it off of myself or push it off of myself. Do you get two actions or two attacks? Because those are different. Oh, that's true. I got two attacks. You're right. You're you right. You do not get to try, also um, try and pull it off. Damn. Okay. So, is, you, if so you have it, a bonus okay. action, you can use it, but you have no movement. Uh, I do have a bonus. Well, bonus action, what do you mean? I mean, if you have a thing you can do with your bonus action. Let's see what I can do with my bonus action. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go get water. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, because I have, I have another attack. Can I, can I stab it? No, can so I... your action was to cast a leveled spell. Your okay, but I have two. Could... No. I mean, I have two attacks. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got right. it. Right, you have two attacks with a melee it. weapon, but if you choose to cast a spell for your action, that's all you get to do. That makes sense. Okay, let's see. Because otherwise for... it would be OP as fuck to have, like, fighter wizards and stuff. Right. Okay. Let me just um... detonate a fireball and then come in and stab you all 12 times. So then, as a bonus action, can I uh, offhand shank? Hmm. Well, no. Two-weapon fighting has to be if you've made a we we melee weapon attack. Damn it. Your action. Um, <laughs> then, then, I I don't am... think there is oh, anything what is you can do. Well, this is not really going to do anything. Um, uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Oh, okay. Um, on the one that's nomin on my face. Sure, 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 sure. Do you and have action is... surge? Uh, I'm sure I don't. Um... 
Oh, I think you do. Because I think it's a second level. It's a second level feature for fighters. I'm not a fighter. Oh, uh, sorry, of course. No, I think I'm I think I'm done. I think that's that's my turn. Okay. This could be your year to get promoted. Is that what it takes? Yes! Okie dokie. Only thing missing is It's on the base. Alright. Yeah, it's just there. Um it is now Blue's turn. And Blue is gonna head right for you. Ben. Mm -hmm. It's coming for you. Oh yeah. Um, and as it comes up to you, uh, all of a sudden you realize that there are more than one cloaker now flying towards you. Oh great. We got another one coming from wait. Gotta zoom out on the map. Nope, 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 nope. It's in they're all in the same area as this cloaker right next to you. It's just there are now many of them. Oh great. Why don't you make me why don't you make me an arcana check? Okay. Well, that's rubbish. I don't know how rubbish it is, but it's very specifically. It is three. So, no. Yeah, you just see a shit ton more cloakers flying at you. Uh, okay. Are they all going to attack? No, that is the end of its turn. Um, there's just a, now a cloud of cloakers hovering around you. Uh, it is now okay. Cloaker Red's turn, and it has a so very delicious, tasty snack almost inside its belly. God damn it. No, but, that's my friend. But Fiona's gone, so I don't want to do this without her here. You son of a bitch, Cloaker. Oh, I'll still roll to hit for the uh, multi-attack, and I get advantage, because I'm biting her! Fuck you. Uh, so that's a 25 to hit on the first one. <laughs> That's definitely gonna hit. And a twenty to hit on the second one. Jesus. So she's gonna take. Hey, you just so you just like did this thing just so that you could kill us in a single game. This should not kill you guys. What a dick. If this kills you guys, y'all need to build better characters. What if you If you want to put your headset on, goddammit. Yeah, I know. You're being very patient. You're muted. You're muted, babe. Okay, I'm back. I'm now officially back. How much damage am I taking? Eight piercing damage. Okay. And you're gonna take... Oh, I'm so sorry I rolled max damage. <laughs> you're gonna take 11 slashing damage. No, oh, it's damage. fine. <sighs> okay. Um, that is the end of its... Turn. It likes right where it is. It's gonna munch on you. That brings us around back to the top of the order with Fen. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm gonna cast Mind Slayer on this blue one. Yeah. All right. Do it. Apparently, I'm not. This is eleven. <laughs> That's not gonna hit. No. No, it does not. Ah. Uh, okay. And I don't think there's anything else I can do. Um, I don't think I have. Actually, a... please. Please roll me a def. Oh, you never hit, did you? Wait, never hit. Your attack you did mean not hit. Your most recent attack. On did this? Not hit. No, yeah. it did not. Okay, great. Is that the end of your turn? Do you want to move? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. I can I can do that now. Yeah. Um, and since my attack missed, am I considered engaged with it? 
Uh, yeah, you are you are in its in engagement. It moved into engagement range with you, but you've got a level in rogue. I do. Wait. Or do you not I get, think that's or that's that a second level feature. Oh, I think. oh no! I know. I should have gone to. Okay. Ah, oh, it's all about that bonus action disengage, man. I know. I know. About so, I think um I'm sticking it out where I am. All right. Good enough. Um, then we're back around to Dasha. Thought it was me. No, toe tap. Oh yes, don't I'm so sorry. To... I totally skipped your name. I'm sorry. Don't you try don't you try to take away my fucking turn. I, I can't I can't take away your turn. You literally lived through that that wall. Yeah, because I'll punch you in the face when you try to fall asleep tonight. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> um <laughs> Just wake up in okay, the middle well, of the night and you're like suspended over my bed. Yeah. Horrifying. And then I'll and, and like my fist will come down to right above your face and then I'll be <laughs> like, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. All right, come on, rip Dash out of here. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, no, man. I'm definitely I'm gonna make that strength saving throw. Okay. Do Which it. here, one second. Uh, do 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 do. Sorry. I was trying to find another spell to look at while I was filling time. Um, uh, so it's just a straight string. Uh, that's a 14? Um, I, this is my second time doing it. That is not going to succeed, but you feel you are close. You are so very close. You get in, and that... you feel dashes start to come just a little bit out, and then, oh, you lose it. Okay, then also, I'm going to do, uh, then I'm also going to cast Cure Wounds on Dasha. Which here, one second, I want to find the spell. I'm trying to find it real quick. Thank you. I got you. I'm very bloody. I got you, homie. I'm fine. Uh, okay, so that's 1d8 plus my modifying spell. And here, I'm gonna do it as a level 2, so I get another. So it's gonna be 2d8 plus my modifier, which is... Modifier, which is... Wow, plus 4. So, I think. Is it plus 4? I'm not sure. I can look at your sheet if you would like. Yes, please. Which mod? What are you doing? I just want to make sure. Um, it's a one d a plus my spell casting ability modifier. For what? Remind me of the spell, please. Uh, cure wounds. Yes, plus your spell casting ability modifier. Okay, so so yeah, so that's and it four. increases by one d eight for each spell slot above first. Yes, so so it's two d eight plus four. Excellent. So one second, where was my first d eight? That's ooh, that's sixteen. Excellent. Um, so you get sixteen health back, Dasha. Fiona... You actually, Dasha, you actually only get H 8 HP back. The cloaker oh, takes the yeah. other 8. That's so Son of a bitch! Well, at least I rolled high so that you got more. Uh, so, but... yeah, he is back up to more health than he had before. Mm, good. Fuck that asshole. I'm gonna leave him. Um, and you're still stuck inside. Is it my turn? It is your turn. I want to wrench this thing off of me. Try it. Make a strength throw. Come on, baby. Can I help? Can I help with this roll? You've already used your turn, my friend. You cannot. That is it. A strength saving throw or a strength check? Strength check. It is a strength check. Mm -hmm. Then that is a seventeen. You are free! 
Oh, ever barely. You managed oh, right. to... Uh, uh, Otep has loosened it up a little bit, and that last attempt pulled you out just enough that you're able to finally get your arms in, so you had some leverage to actually get a knife in there and pry this thing off of your face. Uh, and you are now free. You are no longer blinded and deafened and all that good stuff. Um, As your side comes to, you see a giant orc elf looking you in the face like... <laughs> you see the familiar sight of your dear friend Otep uh, oh, as Let's get the fuck out of here! Big, big toothy grin. You're both covered in all sorts of cloaker gunk. Ew. Um, is that the <laughs> end of your turn? That was your Gross. action. Anything you want to do now that you're free with your bonus action or movement or reaction? Um. Um. I can't do anything with my reaction. Um. Um. I. I. I wanna. Yeah, no, I can't do anything. <laughs> All I right. just want to. I just want to scream a little bit in its face. I mean, you can do that for a freebie. Yeah, I just want to. I just if, take a deep breath in and if, scream. If, if cloakers were capable of facial expressions, uh, this one would look disappointed. That's big sad. <laughs> at at my scream, or that it's not nomming on my face anymore. Frankly, both. Okay, well... But mostly at, mostly at the fact that it, its dinner is escaping. Um, Alright, it is now the blue cloaker's face. Fenris, get ready for a multi-attack. Okay. Haha, -ha, does a... 14 hit. That is my AC. Oh no! Yeah. Both, both of these attacks hit. And you uh, are now face sucked to the thingy thing. Um, okay. So God damn it. So you're gonna take. Uh, we just dealt. We just dealt. With, God fuck. You're gonna take nine slashing damage, uh, and then you are going to take. Sorry, you're going to take nine piercing damage, and then you are going to take four slashing damage. Which is really most unfortunate for you. Yeah. Thanks for that hit point boost. I'm not doing too bad. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Got you, homie. Aid spell is clutch, man. Aid spell is super clutch. Um, here, let's see if maybe... Is that all it wishes to do with me? Uh, I believe that's all. Is that all it wishes of me? I believe that's all it can do. Unfortunately. Um, also, you guys should be able to see my face now. Hi! Yeah. Yes, hello! Let's try it. Hello. We're gonna see if this works, and if I notice issues, we'll, we'll stop. But it appears to be holding up somewhat. Oh. Uh... Nope, just kidding. We're back? Yeah. No, we're, we're here. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. We done We've been it. here. Oh, all right. Um, no, that is the end of its turn. It is now the red one's turn. And Otep, guess what? It's your turn for a multi attack. Come on, bitch. Yeah, it's time for me to fucking multi attack this goddamn mother. You, uh, you were just sucking on my friend's face. <laughs> I'm upset about it. Hey, Otep, does a yes. 24 hit? Fuck you. Cool. Uh, you are now uh, grappled by this thing. Schlorp, uh, blinded, deafened, and face sucked. But I'm assuming an 8 does not hit. No, an 8 does not hit. Okay. Uh, so you're going to take you. 4... <laughs> Uh, you're gonna take a total of seven piercing damage, and you're now blinded and unable to breathe. Alright, one second. <laughs> Alright. You, you piece of shit. Um, and 
that is the end of its turn. Fen, you're up. Uh, all right. I'm gonna fucking try your to do a strength is, check. Your, your, your name is not Fenris. You, I, I thought I heard Ben. Oh no, I said Fen. Sorry, Fenris, you're up. Gotcha. Okay. You're next. Um, so I am face hugged. Yeah. You're. You are both face hugged, and you have a stabby ranger sorcerer person to maybe get you out of this. Okay. Hopefully. Great. Um, maybe. Uh, okay. Well, this thing is this thing was r real close to dying, right? Uh, yeah, it was pretty close. Yeah, it's it's very close actually. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna remember that and try and cast Mind Sliver again. Okay. That's a fourteen. <laughs> uh, Mind Sliver. Yeah. That'll hit. Great. So that is 2d6 psychic damage, and uh, it has to subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw it makes before the end of my next turn. Cool. Yeah. G. Bah. So that is... 9 damage. Excellent. Nine damage. Uh, you scream in pain as you feel your own brain psychic energy pierce through your skull, and you take half of that damage. Oh, so it's all yeah. damage, not just electric. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, basically, a cloaker that is attached can um, uh, siphon off half damage that it takes onto the, the creature. So even though you are the one damaging it, it can still siphon that yep. right back into you. That's also yep. why I decided that if they can steal damage, they can steal healing as well. That's rude. Okay. How dare you? So, so that's only four points of damage. Uh, you said you dealt nine points total? Yeah. yeah. So four oh, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't... Uh, nope. No. With all blast. But, okay. Yep. Sorry, that's correct. <laughs> um, and you also have disadvantage on your saving throw until your next turn. Okay. Yep. Um... But it does as well, so I will uh, mark that cloaker with a little token thingy. Um, excellent. Otep, I believe it is now your turn. Fenris, are you done? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you're up, Fenris. Otep. Otep, goddammit, sorry. <laughs> we just, we look so much alike. Yeah, I just, you know. Us. It's that gigantic boys. beard you got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, okay, I want to I want to pull this fucking thing off my face. So, what is it? It's a strength, just a strength check? Yep. Ooh. Boom, that's a nat 20. Yeah, all right. All right. You, you rip this fucking thing off, and you know what? You know what? You've you you got a nat twenty, and you guys have been trying really really hard. Uh, give me another. No, tell you what. Roll me a d twenty, just a straight d twenty. That's a sixteen. All right. You chuck this thing. <laughs> When you, when you when you go to pull it off your head, you know you know the way those shot putters like spin around yeah. low to high and then they scream do that. and spin, chuck it spin. off. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly yeah. what you do to this cloaker. Uh, your your orc your orc roots start to show through, and you just rip this thing off your face. Um, nice. So it's over there now. It's over there now. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> that's what I wanted. Dasha. All right, I'm gonna. No, can I? Can I Fuck. go for a run to get next to it so that I can attack it next turn? Um, you can move thirty feet, and that speed is halved when you're in the water. Your movement speed is halved in the water. 
So 10 feet, and then plus another 5. Yeah, I can get up next to it. Okay, go for it. Um, I will well, say actually, wait, that no. the water over there can is I... probably up to your chest, so you're going to be making rolls at disadvantage. Can I say the 20 feet, it puts me right across the thing right here? Can I land right there so that I'm that still on the... On the edge of the rock. You would need to go onto the shore and up and around. Can I like jump? You can try. But Could I jump from here action. to there? You've already you have already done an action. So Oh yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I've already done an action, so So you uh... get you can do your thirty feet of movement, anything you have listed as a bonus <laughs> action, or you can end your turn. Here, let me. Okay, if I do fifteen feet to there, and then I do another fifteen feet there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna scamper up the rocks, so that okay. I can go over here and I can attack this motherfucker. Cause I'm sure. pissed at him. Okay. He sucked. He sucked my friend's face. He sucks my face. Fuck him. This okay. Bitch is really sucking face. This bitch well, is just sucking suck face. face, and it's like, oh, oh, no. Terrible. Mm, gross. No, really. Mm, gross. <laughs> Mom, if you see really? that, I'm sorry. I'm turning into dad. I love you. Um. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry too, Mom. I'm also sorry, Mom. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Mom Caleb, and Caleb. Dad. <laughs> to Caleb's mom. I'm not sorry to my mom. I'm not sorry to my mother. Wow! My mother's a nice lady. <laughs> Fuck all of you. Your mom is? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's, that's why that's I'm saying, saying I'm sorry to her. Uh, you're saying that she's a very nice lady. She's a very nice lady. <sighs> but we are apologizing to her. Alright, Dash, it's your turn. What you doing? <laughs> I'm whipping out my bow. Oh, God. Yes! This is the first time you've whipped that thing out. I know, they've been too close to me. Um, you can at disengage and retreat! Is. Why does no one ever disengage and retreat? Because fuck <laughs> you, that's why. <laughs> fuck that. Um, I'm a shoot. I'm a shoot red dot boy. Yes. Do you think I am? Some sort of he has so much HP. Somebody take some of it. I'm trying! That is A! Does a 23 hit? Jesus Christ, yes. Does a 23 hit? <laughs> yes, you're lucky you're cute. Um, thanks. I try. I try to be lucky. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's try, okay. That's eight damage. Ooh, spicy. Spicy. Oh, 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 wait. Wait a minute. It's more than that. It's more than that, because I put Hunter's Mark on it. Well, grab um, an eraser. Yes, you did. So, that means it takes... How much did I say that it, it took? It took eight damage? Eat that motherfucker. It takes 14 damage. Nice. Slice, 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 and dice. 14 damage? Takes 14 damage. Now it's bloodied. Properly bloodied. Hey. Hey, uh, and the stream yeah. is back. Hey. hey. When did we, when did the stream die? It's been cutting in and out. Well, let me tell you something, everyone. I did some really cool things. I did some flips. Um, I Good. murdered yeah. everyone and brought them all back to life. Now we're still fighting, and for some reason, they're at the same amount of health. So listen to me. It was amazing what Dasha did. Oh, That's yeah, like... absolutely incredible. Single handedly <laughs> saved the party, and then ruined the party. Yeah. Oh, and there was a yeah. great bit of touching RP there, big character moments. Yeah. Totally. We found we out. Totally I don't know who my dad is. Oh my god. Totally. And then happens. you had to kill your and then you had to kill your dad. 
totally have and then your dad the came back and an undead. <laughs> but yeah, it was really epic, and I'm really sorry you missed it. Well, the whole thing has been recorded, at least, so there's proof it all happened. Oh, yes, there is proof that all every single one of those things happened. Yeah, of course. Um, whose turn is it? It's the cloak. I don't know. That's that's your yeah. Okay, that's your great. prerogative. Um, it is Blue Cloaker's turn. Um, meaning great. you're gonna get a bitey and a tail attack. Uh, no. Advantage. So we're gonna start with yep. bite. Okay. Uh, that no. is an oh. eighteen. Yep. And we're gonna start with it, and then the tail attack is gonna be also an eighteen. Yep. Okay. Whoa. So you're gonna take. Oh God, I'm so sorry. It's uh, alright. Hit uh, me. You're gonna take twelve piercing damage and eleven slashing damage. Ooh. Uh, okay. I so that's uh, slashing damage. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, so that's total twenty three damage. Uh, if I can do math correctly. Okay. Lucky for your us, you can't do math correctly. You're correct. I use a calculator a lot more often than I'd care to admit to play this game. Yeah, Ooh. I'm not looking great. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm coming, homie. I should I, uh, I need to get. I will. Pants. I do let out a holler of some kind. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, you scream. That <laughs> oh yeah, was, I'm that was a pain. lot of damage. Um, and it is now the red cloaker's turn. Who is going to seeing its favorite prey is now alone from the big scary metal man swoop back in down here oh no to have another bite of Dasha God. Damn it! So you're gonna get multi-attacked. Oh, a 10 for the bite does not hit, however. Thank sweet Jesus! You can thank the dice. However, you're still gonna <laughs> take double damage on the tail attack, because that was a ah. 20. <laughs> He's dice god! Sorry! No, it's fine! No, it's fine. Uh, I really don't actually want to kill you guys. Um, you're going to take 11 slashing damage. Okay. Which is like perfect median damage I could roll for that. Okay. Um, that is the end of its turn. We're back up to Fen. You want to make a strength check, try and get out of this thing? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Although, super close. I know. Close. But why not? Okay. Um, I mean, if I no, if I get hit one more, I'm risking another round in that thing. Just although knowing the dice gods, I will have one. In. Oh, that's a seventeen. Hey, Ooh, look at that. Hey, like that. <laughs> you slip right out. It is no match for you. Great. Slurp, slurp right on out of there. I believe that's all I can do. I'm still considered engaged with it because I'm in the same yeah, space. So yeah. That's all I can do. All right. End of your turn. Otep. Cool. Uh, yeah, no. It's time for me. Now that I heard the screams of my friends, I kind of forget about my rage against this fucker. And yeah, I'm going to do a straight run back. Um... This is actually five feet closer to Dasha. Yeah. Oh wait, it's right there. Yeah, okay, it's in then melee. I'm gonna slash it. Okay, yeah, then I'm gonna slashy slash at that motherfucker. Okay. Slashing dash. So do do do. Oh, uh, that's thirteen to hit. Uh, that will not hit. Damn it. No slice. No dice. It's fine. Uh, 14 to ride this ride. Son of a bitch. 
Um, okay. Uh, that is, uh, yeah, no, I moved and then I sliced at that, so there's nothing else I can do. All right, Dasha. Um, well, uh, I'm not very good at close range, so I'm gonna just take a shot at, uh, Blue Dot over here. With my bow. Okay. I will murder everyone. Please don't. That is a natty one. Ooh. Ooh. Those are gross, dude. <laughs> does a nine hit? A uh, nine does not hit. That's so crazy. Should I, 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 really should I enact the TC rule then? What is the TC yeah. rule? If you roll a crit one on a weapon attack, you either have to mm -hmm. drop the weapon or take some small amount of fall damage. I... That's on you. Yeah. How much of a terrible person you feel like being tonight? All uh, damage exactly. seems incorrect, but... Yeah, that's fair. Because I'm unfairly biased. I'll think about it. We'll make a decision later. We'll carry on for now. Okay. Uh, Anything else you want to do? Well, uh... How my much damage did so you do to blue? I didn't do any because I didn't hit it. Um, and then, so, so I have two attacks per action, so could I technically shoot it again? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. try that. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that's for. Cool. Um, so it's basically, instead twisted. of swinging, instead of shooting your arrow once, you can shoot twice. Instead of swinging my sword once, I can swing it twice. Lovely. I'm gonna... Ooh! How does a uh, does a twenty four hit? Twenty four does hit. Yay! Okay. Excellent. Um, and this one does not have my hunter's mark on it, so it's just a, a D eight. Where is my D eight? Where are you? Ah, see. Ah. Where are? Ah. That is eight damage. It is. Mm. It is. It is hanging on. <laughs> God damn it. It is, it is, I, I am going to say that technically, uh, Fenris, you count as grappled, but you are no longer really blinded or deafened. This thing is so close to dead, it's really more just like, it's going through its death throes while attached to you, so you're able to beat yourself, like... It's not attached to, to, to... Fenris anymore, is it? No, I escaped the grapple. Oh, goddamn, never mind then. All right, then it's just flying there really depressed looking. Okay. <laughs> and bleeding, making you feel bad for shooting it. Is that the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Great, it's going to beat you up now, Fenris. Okay. <laughs> Multi-attack time again. Great. Uh, Neither of those hit. Great. <laughs> uh, I look back at it in sympathy. Uh, red seven is gonna uh, uh, red is gonna hit you uh, Otep. Fuck you. Uh, does a thirteen hit? No. Does a nineteen hit? No. Yes, it does. Yes. Okay. As I was say, uh, so you are going to take five slashing I have, damage. I, I have a thousand AC. Uh, five slashing damage. Copy that. <laughs> uh, and then Fenris, it's your turn! Please okay, just great. kill this one in front of you, yeah. dear god. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It has been lingering, can we just put it down? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna take out my rapier. Uh, you know what? No, I'll just... You know what? Does it really you matter how I just say? No. It doesn't really matter how I try and say, me... the roll's gonna be this. Yeah, just whatever you do, make sure you can deal like more than a few damage. Okay, well, yes. Let's get flashy. Sense. Let's do a fireball. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. It's let's gonna do you're gonna have to make that fireball. a disadvantage because it's a ranged attack. Oh, well, hang on. 
Eldritch Blast. Oh, are they all? Are all of those trips? Yeah, those are technically ranged. Okay, you know what then? Let's take out the rapier and um, you know what? That's Green nice. Flame Blade is not. Uh, oh a yeah. So we're gonna roll for that. Yeah. Okay. I've always wanted to play in a game where somebody uses Green Flame Blade. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's getting used. All right. That is a twenty-three, I believe, or at least a twenty. Ooh, um, that hits. Do I? Yeah, that's a twenty-three. Yeah, yeah that, that hits. hits. Right. We're going. Uh, that is. Eight, but let me double check. We're okay, yeah, that's two D eight. Song music. This is our theme song music. <laughs> this is our theme song music. Da 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 da. Fuck okay. you. That is twelve. Um, piercing damage. Oh wait. Is it? Hang on. Let me double check. Oh, make a melee attack. Okay. Suffers attacks normal effects. Um, yeah. So that is 1d8. Ah! Okay. Slow down. Start from the beginning. I will. Sorry. Math, All not good. my strong suit. All good. What are we trying to do? You're trying to green that... flame blade this thing. Yeah, I got it. Okay. It's just... It... Six, I think, of piercing damage, and then six of fired. How do you want to do this? Way there we go. Whoa, you murdered this motherfucker. Okay. Well, I love hearing that. I look straight at this thing, and um, sorry, buddy, and uh, take out my rapier. Plunge it in there, and this green fire spreads from that blade and just engulfs it, starting to wrap it around, and it flutters, the ashes of it flutter to the and make a child like falling rain. Uh, and as it falls, uh, you feel a sense of peace. Cool. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Yep. Great. Otep. Let's kill this motherfucker right here. Yeah, geez, hurry up already, would ya? God, it's like they keep sticking uh, it to your faces or something. 17 to hit, motherfucker. Yes. Does the, seven, does the 17 hit? Yes, it does. And then I do uh, 1d10 plus 3. Uh, so that's seven damage. Seven. And then I'm also gonna do my, and then I'm gonna do my divine strike as well, cause fuck you. So that's two d eight plus four. A divine smite, you mean? Divine smite, yes. Okay. Sorry, different character. Yep. Um. Just checking. They are uh, two different so, things. So that, so that's eleven plus. Uh, what was the original number? It was 11 plus 7, I think. So, 18. 18 damage. Damn, alright. Nice! Okay, yeah. Um, it is bloodied. It's not dead yet? No. I'm slicing it again. I'm... I'm upset that it's not dead yet at this point. <laughs> the dice are just not having it tonight, man. I was, I really was expecting this to go much quicker. I thought it, we've been rolling. I've and, been rolling like shit. Me too. Yeah, absolute the, the shit. The dice have decided no. We have been in this combat for literally about two hours now. <laughs> so much fun. It should not um, be this hard. It yeah, I just, I also just rolled a crit fail. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Dasha, what are you doing? 
Okay, I'm gonna do my uh, one, two punch, which is uh, take my daggers and do and use the um, twice for with my good hand and once with my off hand. Oh. That oh, is number one. clever son of a. Okay, yeah. Um, that is fucking rude. first one is uh fifteen to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay, um, so that's gonna do uh ba 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 uh, and this one has divine smite on it, so. Um, Y'all are just stacking the damage tonight. Damn. So that is nine. That first one is nine damage. Okay. Second one is a uh, 22 to hit. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume hit. that hits. I think yeah. that'll work. I think I can. Um,. That is nine damage again, and then that is 16 to hit, and uh, uh, 12 damage. How do you want to do so, this? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Well, yes. Thank, thank God. Um, this music is inspiring me. Um, which is fun. So, I, because I can, uh, I'm gonna use the the mast that I was crouching upon, and kind of do a little jump off of pushing off of it and just spinning slash 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 uh, thrice into its breastbone. And lo, the final cloaker called out in agony for its already deceased brethren and fell to the ship's deck, bleeding and broken. I'm gonna flip off the cloaker. <laughs> I'm gonna join Dasha in flipping off the cloak. I look over at them and I also flip off their cloak, or not the one I. <laughs> Great. Good. On that note, uh, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, we've been Thank at this you. for two two hours and forty five minutes. Um, oh boy. Now we are at a good place where I am happy to call it for the night. I'm also willing to try and push on, but Ben, I know you've had a long day. We got work tomorrow what are people feeling like i'm not gonna sweat 15 minutes short of a three hour stream like we had talked about like i'm happy what are yeah. we feeling yeah i i i might like to call it here i also have work morning so yeah that's fine as long as i mean group yeah. consensus though yeah, I'm starting. I, I literally within the past ten minutes, I've been starting to feel like the tiredness begin to set in. So I would really like to yeah, to pause here if we there's could. There's no rush on this. This is, I mean, yeah. it'll be here. We can pick this back up next time. Um, and this is again good chances for you guys to learn your abilities and <laughs> remember what paladins have and rogues can do and all that good stuff. So um, yeah. All right. Uh, you guys don't go anywhere yet. If there's anybody still watching at home, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, certainly can't speak for you, but we've had a lot of fun. Uh, and yes. And hope you enjoyed some of what you've seen. Uh, at some point, I'll get my shit together, and there will be a YouTube and maybe some sort of uh, audio catalog of these adventures, at the very least, so we can listen back to our edgy one-liners and amuse ourselves. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Take that, you dog. Yeah. Out. But, Out. peace. See you next week. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail yourselves.